Welcome to the Humour and Storytelling Seminar. We've got two, two fantastic presenters here this afternoon. A bit of a history of telling a story in a joke. One of them, of course, is known as the Prince of Storytellers. I'm not too sure who gave him that title. <laughs> and they're going to teach us how to put a bit of storytelling, a bit of humour, all together. Welcome up one half of the duo as Tom Jones. No, Tom Webb. <laughs> and that's no cue to start throwing the undies up on the stage either. So. <laughs> Tom Jones. Please welcome up Tom Webb for the seat for this afternoon's Storytelling and Humour Seminar. Thank you, Phil. Ladies and gentlemen, a storyteller tells stories. How do some stories begin? Once upon a time, long time ago, in a land far away, there lived an innkeeper who owned an inn called the King Alfred. And the King Alfred was situated on a major highway between, between two great medieval cities. All day long, the carts would rumble by, the bullet wagon would go by, pilgrims and pedestrians would walk by, armies would march by. But, for some reason or other, hardly anyone ever came into the hotel. And the innkeeper thought to himself, I've got to do something, I'm going broke. As the weeks had gone by, he'd had to lay off staff until eventually he only had one worker left. And that was Ma. She was the barmaid, she was the, she was the cook and bottle washer, she did it. And he said, Ma, he said, Ma, for me dear, at the end of the week, I'm going to have to let you go. She said, Sir, I realise you've tried everything. You've been to the town criers at both of the big cities. And they rang their bells and told us about the good ale we sell, the, the mead, and the great accommodation. And no one comes. But sir, have you tried speaking to the wise man who lives up on the mountain? And he said, no, I've heard of that. Who's this wise man who lives up on the mountain? He said, well, apparently this man is a sage and he knows the answer to every problem. Just go up there and see him he'll be to set you straight. So, she packed him a lunch. Off he set the black forest, trudging through the forest until he got to the base of the mountains. Then he started to climb up higher and higher. And as he got up near the snow line, he heard a voice cry out, You there, sir! He looked up and he saw this man, long white hair almost to the waist, big beard, and the man said to him, would you like a cup of tea? He said, I would. So the old man invited him into his cave. And as soon as he got into the cave, the innkeeper started telling the old man's problems. No one was coming, blah, 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 blah. The old man listened patiently. Suddenly he held up a finger. That's it! That's it! What do you mean, that's it? He said, that's it! You must change the name of the hotel. He said, I can't change the name of the hotel. This is the, this is the King Alfred. It's been there since Viking days. This is the actual hotel where they burnt the cakes way back. He said, I can't change that. He said, change it. Change it and your luck will change immediately. All right? Well, what will I change it to? Easy, he said. Easy. Call it the Five Bells Hotel. <laughs> the Five Bells Hotel? Why Five Bells? He said, don't you worry about that. Remember Jill, Jill, Jokey Peters? Don't you worry about that. <laughs> Just do it. Make a big signpost, 20 feet long, 15 feet deep. Put it up on a huge easel outside the hotel so it can be seen from at least a hundred yards in either direction. Put the Five Bells Hotel on each side of the sign. Is that all? Yes, that's it. Oh, well, I can do that. As he was getting up to leave, the old man said, oh, I nearly forgot. Most important, 
Go along and see your blacksmith and get him to make up five little, six little silver bells. Six little silver bells. Hang them along the bottom of the side. And, that's <laughs> and when they put the sign up, immediately their luck changed. Sergeant, stop, we'll go in here. And all of a sudden there were people in the bar who was full. They were selling everything. All the staff was coming back. The business boomed. Why do you think that was? Why did the business boom? Do you know that? Do you know when? Why did it change? Exactly right. It was called the Five Bells Hotel and they put six along the bottom. And nobody can resist telling somebody else that they made a mistake. 